welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel i am kesley it is so nice to meet you it's so nice to have you here as you are by the title i'm going to be showing you guys my updated natural hair routine for hair growth these are some of the things that i've been doing to maintain the health of my hair i've noticed a huge significant difference within the health of my natural hair if you don't get nothing out of this video my only and biggest tip for you is to leave your hair alone and protect the style y'all this is a half wig and the front half of my hair is always in a braid style. I don't touch my hair throughout my weeks. I just let it honestly do whatever. You feel me? So definitely invest in yourself, okay? If you're a wig girly, buy you some staple wigs and freaking leave your hair alone, okay? But when it's time for wash day, these are all of the things that I like to do to keep my hair healthy. Like I said, I've noticed a huge difference. My hair is so much more softer. I'm able to manage my hair. My hair feels so much more stronger. And it's because I don't be in my hair no more. So definitely protect the style, okay? But if you are new here and you want to subscribe, you most definitely can. If you are not new, thank you so much for returning oh my goodness i'm so nervous but let's just hop into this video so to start off my wash day i like to detangle my hair outside the shower i go in with my spray bottle and hydrate my hair to unravel my previous spray styles within my water bottle i have warm water mixed with a few drops of mio's hair growth oil today i'm using palmer's lymph retention conditioner to detangle my hair i first like to thoroughly finger detangle my hair first just to get rid of those tangles and knots and y'all please make sure you are very gentle during this process because you do not want to break off your hair. Once my hair is fully detangled, I just twist up that section and then move on to the next section and pretty much just repeat those same steps. So finger detangle, apply your conditioner, finger detangle once again, grab your detangling brush, twist that bad boy up, and then you're good to go. Like I said, throughout this whole process, just definitely make sure you are very gentle and make sure you detangle your hair from ends to roots and actually detangle your roots. Like for me, I have very thick hair, so my hair easily becomes knotted, like I said, especially towards my roots. So when I'm finger detangling my hair, I'm able to just separate those knots and tangles. And then with my detangling brush, I'm able to brush freely from ends to roots. So definitely through it all, just be very patient. It definitely is time consuming. This process takes me up to an hour. So definitely put on your favorite show or listen to some of your favorite songs because you're going to be in this position for a while. And don't get me started with Watch Day, okay? Watch Day is another task within itself, but I just like to finger detangle my hair first. So when I get in a tub, I'm just able to just shampoo, deep condition. I'm not worrying about my hair being all matted and tangled again um so i love to do this step before i hop in the tub because it just makes wash day much more easier and so yeah let's just listen to this music and i'll catch you guys when i'm about to hop in the tub Walk the narrow path for you, but faith is just so hard. Pride is still my poison, but oh Lord, you know my heart. Praising God no cost, so help me use it as a weapon. Gain so fall and one. Your grace is so much greater than all the sin I've done. You so love the world that you gave your only son. The hard part is finally freaking over. That took like about an hour. I like to detangle my hair outside the shower. So when I get inside the shower to wash my hair, everything will run smoothly. I feel like every time I detangle my hair in the shower, it literally makes wash stay longer. I like to just shampoo my hair, deep condition, sit under the dryer for about 30 minutes, get back in the tub, rinse it out, and then style my hair. But 
This is typically what I've been doing lately to grow out my hair. I don't detangle, I don't comb my hair throughout my weeks. I'm not really particular when it comes to conditioners and stuff, especially to detangle my hair. I honestly just use whatever is under my sink. What shampoo am I going to be using? I don't know. Like I said, y'all, I just really use what's under my sink. I ain't gonna lie, I may have to go steal some of my sister hair products because I don't see no shampoo that I can use under here. I usually would use Crema Nature's Jamaican Black Castor Oil line. I really love that shampoo, but I don't have that with me right now. I have their detangling shampoo, and that's what I've been using to clean my hair, but I want to use something different. Before I hop in the tub and explain everything, let's show you guys the products that I'll be using. Okay, y'all, I found this intensive hydration shampoo by Shea Moisture and I've never used this shampoo before. I only used the hair mask of this line and that was like years ago when I first went at you and I really love that hair mask so we're going to be trying out their shampoo today and then to deep condition my hair I'm going to be using my staple hair mask by Mio. This is their rosemary line and I really love this hair mask so much. Definitely would recommend. These are the products that I'll be using for my wash day and I'm excited to try this out. So before I hop in the tub, let's explain what I'm going to be doing. So I'm going to rinse out this conditioner and then just apply the shampoo onto my scalp. Rinse the shampoo out. But after my hair is all clean, I'm just going to go in with this Mia. E that's just going to be my wash day. As I stated earlier, I like to sit under the dryer with this hair mask for about 30 minutes just so this hair mask can really get into my hair. I ain't gonna lie y'all, I gotta take a number two. So I'm gonna take a number two before I get in this tub because I can't hold it. I've been holding it this whole time while doing my hair. This is basically two weeks worth of shedded hair um, and I still have some on the floor. But not a lot. I like to do this every two weeks. Sometimes I don't wash my hair every two weeks because I get busy, especially I'm a full-time student. So yeah, I try to wash it within a month if I don't get to two weeks. But yeah, this is what I've been doing to like grow out my hair because y'all, as a natural hair creator, I've said this plenty of times, we are always in our natural hair. And I cannot, like, this is not realistic for me to be doing my hair every day, but let's have my tub and let's continue on with this wash day. Wash day is officially, officially, officially over. Definitely 10 out of 10 recommend y'all. This left my hair feeling so freaking soft after shampooing. Like, this is super lightweight. My hair has never felt this soft before after a shampoo. Like, it literally did its job. It's definitely moisturizing for sure. But honestly, y'all, I need me a protein shampoo. Like, I have high porosity hair and my hair be needing protein to keep its strength. If you guys have like any recommendations when it comes to protein, deep conditioners and shampoos, definitely let me know. I will now start to buy this shampoo y'all because this definitely is the truth. Yeah, I have to clean up my bathroom because it's like a puddle of water on my floor because I was recording for you guys. It gets hectic. It gets so hectic, but it's okay. But now it is time to style my hair. To moisturize my hair, I'm going to be using this Honey Hydration by Camille Rose. 10 out of 10, I recommend y'all. This is my favorite leave-in conditioner because it definitely leaves my hair feeling so moisturized for a long time. And then I go in with my shea butter and this shea butter, it locks in this hydration. These two combined is my holy grails. If I don't have these two products, I don't think I'll survive. So 
definitely recommend these two thingies but to style my hair i'm just going to part my um hair to style my hair i'm going to part my hair in two sections i like to part my hair and have from ear to ear it should already be parted because i did not mess up the parts or anything i believe but i don't know what hairstyle i want to do we gotta do something different i'm always doing bent to knots i don't know we're gonna see what we're gonna come up with i'm not making no promises i'm gonna just show you guys me doing my hair because i don't know what i'm doing to the front part of my hair so i can't explain what i'm going to be doing but I'm using these two products for moisture and then to seal it all off i'm going to use whatever oil is under my sink that's basically my wash day um i started like around four i believe and it is now almost eight o'clock it's 7 47 so <sighs> Yeah, wash day only took like an hour though. So like I said, to style my hair, I'm going to part my hair in half from ear to ear. So the back section of my hair is going to be locked up in some braids. And then the front half of my hair is going to be in a braid style. I'm going to stop talking. I just wanted to explain everything before I get to work. But I really hope that you've been enjoying this video so far. A song that I just came across is Never Too Busy by Kenny. Yeah. I desire a man that's never too busy like this is off topic but I want a man that's busy but like I want a man that's never too busy for me if that makes sense you know I don't know I like to write down the things that I want and the things that I like in a man in my journal and I just pray over it and then I just let God flow so yeah Adios. Let's Purify my dreams as I cover my face so they can see your face in me. Father, teach me how to fall in love with simple things. Surely I will give you glory for eternity. You are all I need. Once upon a time, the master tree was just a seed. Grow my faith, oh Lord, and show me what is heavenly. Jesus, you're the truth, it doesn't matter how I feel whoa, whoa. I don't want to be, I don't want to be far from you You're the air I breathe, you're the air I breathe Help me abide in you I don't want to be, I don't want to be far from you Show me where you are, cause life is so uncomfortable While well, I'm here in the dark, I walk the narrow path for you But faith is just so hard, pride is still my poison But oh Lord, you know my heart Praising God no cost, so help me use it as a weapon Against the fallen one, your grace is so much greater than all the sin I've done You so loved the world that you gave your only son I don't wanna be, I don't wanna be far from you Yo, we is halfway finished with my hair. I tried to recreate a hairstyle that I did previously as seen in this video. Yeah, I'm gonna do this section of camera and come back to you guys. This is what I like to do every two to four weeks. I don't always wash my hair every two weeks just because like I'm a full-time college student. So 
yeah this is basically what i like to do to grow up my hair and it's been working y'all like my hair feels so soft and super healthy it feels super strong and i think when you just keep your hands out of your hair that's when your hair flourishes the most so definitely find a protective style that works best for you and just continue to be consistent with it you know and also have a actual hair care routine on the side hello it is the next day hello it's the next day and i finished my hair off camera like i said i finished this side on tiktok so this wig is my everyday holy grail like i can't go nowhere without my natural hair okay yes this is what i like to do to just grow out my hair and also just to make sure that i'm taking care of my hair underneath my protective styles let me put these wigs on and then we could just give our final 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 thoughts on everything i want to give my final thoughts on the hair products that i use so let's go get the products and let's just talk about it as you guys seen earlier like i said 10 out of 10 definitely would recommend my hair has never felt so soft after a shampoo y'all and moisturize it's a super lightweight shampoo the smell it's like a sweet smell it smells amazing but definitely it left my hair soft and then i just went in with my mio hair mask this is another staple of mine and then to moisturize my hair underneath my protective cell i just use my staple i love this camille rose honey hydration yeah definitely would recommend this is definitely hydrating and then i just go in with my shea butter to seal the moisture in and it just also helps to keep my hair moisturized and then lastly i just use whatever oil that was on my sink because i have a lot of those oils so definitely just find a oil that works best for you when it comes to natural hair growth i really love jamaican black castor oil but lately i've been using the oil by Maine to just grow out my hair especially under my deep condition I like to just, you know, put that oil all over my hands and then just rub it all over my hair, sit under the dryer for about 20 to 30 minutes. No longer than that because I have high porosity hair. So yeah, the conditioner, it literally like melts into my hair. And so yeah, 20 to 30 minutes is how long I keep my hair mask or deep conditions in my hair. But yeah, that's pretty much it. This is basically what I like to do every two to four weeks to restyle and rewash and deep condition my hair. So I hope that this routine helps you. Thank you guys so much for being here. If you guys have any questions, any tips, whatever, definitely feel free to let me know down below. I love you, God loves you, and as always, we're going to see you in our next video. Until next time, adios, 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 adios. Alright, bye. Hope you guys have an amazing week. Whatever day that you are watching this, know that God is with you and that he loves you and he wants a relationship with you. In Jesus' name, amen. I'm going.